COVID, of course, has kept me home, at least from Windesheim. So um, a lot of online work. That's uh, yeah. It's not. It's not very. It's not very inspiring. Teaching from home now. Uh, so that's that's a big impact and a big difference between um, before and after COVID. So I used to teach exclusively in in Windesheim, and then I would arrive and see the students and and tell them a story and I would see their reactions and I would ask them what do you think about it and I would see their body language and that's that's we're kind of missing out on that now we're just talking to our laptops we're just heads talking heads it's definitely that kind of right when COVID started we were supposed to go abroad for our study um, so basically because of COVID we we didn't go abroad it uh, impacted it I would say greatly. Teaching from home now, uh, so that's that's a big impact and a big difference between um, before and after COVID. Uh, because one of the one of the things when I was like choosing where I'm going to study, I chose the Netherlands, and I was in my mind was always like, it's not a problem. The 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 plane is only like an hour and a half to to go back home and I was like yeah chill no problem and in one moment COVID came and suddenly my traveling options really 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 fell down for example right now I can't go just for a few days well I have the time because their PCRs their quarantine is definitely really messing up with my my plans from there uh, it led to like I don't know mm, maybe nostalgia because I in the past I knew I can go home even though I didn't go that often but at least I knew I can and now when I knew I when I know I can it's um yeah a bit a bit difficult well we, we we should have traveled last week to uh, to China to um to the United States and to um, I would have done a for a good course I would have done a run in uh, in Tanzania and they were all skipped yeah I was really Set back by uh, set back by that, but that's 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 uh, nothing in comparison to what it what it did uh, worldwide. In my as a role as a teacher, it uh, it has uh, given a personal a professional growth. So I'm now I'm not more and more thinking about okay when, what should I give online and what should I uh, what should which lessons could should I teach uh, on offline? And of course it's a pity that I didn't see uh, that I had the physical contact with my uh, with my students. But I've done, uh, I've done well. The social part of my life uh, changed a lot because of the corona. In the beginning of COVID-19, I, uh, I lost my job, which was uh, pretty annoying to say the least. To be honest, academically speaking, it hasn't affected me all that much. Like um, it actually came as a blessing because I was kind of, um, um, I was kind of failing the first year and them canceling out your minimal requirements of uh, ECs came as a blessing. So um, I was really happy about that. But that was about the only good thing about it. I guess my mental health has taken a hit at some point because, well, I'm doing everything out of home. Like I work out of home, I have an internship out of home and then there's schoolwork. It really influenced my social contacts that I had normally. So a lot of students are saying that they miss the contact with uh, the other students and I don't I don't have that. The main reason why I was going living on my own was because of COVID. It's really hard to live 24 seven with your parents if you want to also see your friends. And that's not bad, but that was the main reason why I was living on my own. That's also one of the main reasons why I, I don't feel that I, I miss out on my other students because I already have people here in my living room if I want to. If I want to have physical, physical contact, I just go to one of my housemates and just tell them what, what my day was like. For me, it was better to have online classes. So on the different ways, I think that the corona uh, was actually really good for me. COVID affected me just like in a really positive way, I noticed, even though that's really strange in these times. But yeah, it really improved me. Uh, but the second lockdown was a lot harder and difficult. It's a really good question. Because when COVID started last year, I was actually a bit tensed by school and living on my own and everything on the same time. And also I was a bit 
uh, not really, my health wasn't really that good. So it was all at the same time, so it was very tense. So it was a really good break for me. And then it came on the right time, but then it was also a bit sad because you you can't do anything anymore and you're a bit lonely. But I learned a lot from COVID. So basically for me, COVID was kind of good. <laughs> Yeah, my day, every day looks the same. A normal day at home, I I stand up, I, I eat, and then the whole day I'm sitting at my desk uh, uh, behind my laptop, and every day is the same. Mm, first is work, of course, but after that, what I have really, which has been a positive change during the pandemic time, time is that I've changed my lifestyle. So there are certain things that I always wanted to do. So now I focus on meditating every day, doing some breathing exercises, making sure that I'm working out. That was also a blow when gyms closed, you know, again. Uh, then I started to run outside and then, then I started doing home workouts as well. So that helps. Uh, and doing something creative. I, I try to do something creative every other, every alternate day, let's say. I paint a lot, I write, I or start learn something. And last year, I think I did a 50 days challenge where I made 50 paintings every day on the topic of uh, diversity and inclusion, especially focused on uh, fe fem feminism or let's say gender equality. Uh, school, because we did still have school at home, uh, it felt like uh, the exams and the schoolwork actually became uh, tougher. Uh, so a lot of schoolwork, but I also binged a lot of TV shows. So okay. usually just be present on the lectures after that doing nothing maybe watch some netflix or uh, read sometimes from a book but i don't feel that productive uh, while uh, like during the pandemia uh, well, a lot of work working but i like working uh, i like reading uh, cleaning i don't like but i do <laughs> gardening and we have a, a, a wonderful dog so i like uh, walking the dog so that's how i spend my days I spent my day looking after my son um, before the gym was lo was, was 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 shut down, and uh, I, I mean reading books, watching movies, and and just spending time with my son and my partner is clearly what what I what I do these days. Well, right now I would say it's really like staying motivated and making sure that even though we have the limitations of contact, like real face-to-face -face contact with people, still making sure that you're not just behind your laptop the whole day. And... Teaching from home now. Uh, so that's that's a big impact and a big difference between um, before and after COVID. Going outside in that sense also really helps, like just going for a walk with people, for instance. I've been um, looking for a new job and uh, it's been kind of tough out there with COVID and a lot of things closed. So yeah, that's challenges that I face. And of course, not being able to go and see your friends whenever you want. Uh, it's just you and, oh well, I have a roommate, but yeah, that just one person that you see all the time. <laughs> I think that's a bit frustrating. Well, the, the main challenge is the, like the, the Groundhog Day challenge to everybody. Every day is really starting to become similar. You know, you get up, you have breakfast and then you open up the laptop and you talk to the laptop. <laughs> and then uh, you answer the, some meals and then uh, you close the laptop and you're still home. <laughs> Maybe the, um, the online education is a little bit uh, challenging for me because to be honest, I sometimes find it um, hard to focus. I start uh, looking something on my phone or um, going to grab some food or to drink something while when I'm in class, uh, it's when I look at the teacher, I, I don't feel comfortable to take my phone or something. So I'm fully concentrated. Maybe this is the biggest challenge to, to stay focused. Missing my colleagues. That's a challenge. Uh, missing the students face to face, really. Um, you know, you, you talk over coffee and you 
you um, arrange things together, you plan things together. And now everybody has to do that on on their own and you, you can send mails and you can see each other on Teams, but somehow it works differently. And that's, um, I find that a challenge. I, I feel a bit depressed sometimes, uh, just like everyone else, but or some optimists who don't feel depressed, I think, but I feel sometimes depressed. And I try not to feed the negative thoughts. I think that one of the most powerful effects of this time is that all of us have had to learn how to deal with a certain degree of of uncertainty and how to manage your, your stress levels, how to be mindful about that, how to support each other in coping with what was happening. The key pillars in that model that I work a lot with uh, is managing uncertainty. And that used to, I, I used to think uh, of managing uncertainty as something that usually come across when you were abroad. I, I never thought of man, being able to manage uncertainty so much in your, in your home environment. Uh, but the past year has shown us that you can learn how to manage uncertainty from your from your living room. Maybe loneliness is the main one and boredom is the second. Many. Uh, boredom, a very big change. Also, mental health, very big challenge. Staying healthy, eating a lot of crap food because you're sad. Yeah, that's what I always do. But those challenges you eventually overcome and that makes you actually stronger. So that's pretty nice. I can survive another pandemic, but I don't want another pandemic. Um, I've learned who I am. I really started to know myself way better because I've, I finally had the time to know myself. Like I still before lockdown or from before COVID, I knew my name. I knew what I was trying to do, but sometimes I uh, strange myself off and right now I really know who I am and I really know uh, who I want to be. And I really learned a lot that you are reflecting more, you, are, you have more time, so you are more thinking about what you want, what you really want and what you would like to do and, and you also really discover the things in life that matter, the things you you really like, like you discover how how great it is to just have a nice home, nice parents. I, I realized uh, how how good I I have it, how good uh, how good it is, how good my life is. I really uh, realized how good my life is during this pandemic. Nothing is certain and you just have to um, deal with the uncertainty that there is and uh, you need to try to make the best out of it. So be be flexible in that sense. So be more centered and to enjoy my space at home as well. That's what I learned and to enjoy, be grateful even in difficult times, I would say. What it has taught me that, that uh, it is a great a privilege to go to school yeah. and that is not that is not normal that you can go to school and meet your students and that the school is a place where we can meet each other so that is one of the lessons learned i think that uh, that covid uh, have, uh, has given us well i think both i think both it, both i think a bit of both i think i think both uh kind of both and I, I i suppose the answer is both what I see in my international working environment is that COVID-19 has, even if it has prevented us from actually meeting each other, right? So before COVID, we would have uh, these big uh, uh, conferences where all the coordinators from all over the world would come together and do their meetings and have networking sessions and everything. That is all. In, that has all become impossible, right? So you really need to connect digitally to meet. However, um, so you could you could claim that it has set us apart in a way. At the same time, given the fact that we are in this unique situation where this goes for everyone, 
everywhere. This is something that we are all experiencing in terms of the changes in our daily routines, the working from home, uh, all of the aspects. And, and that understanding really has brought people closer. And I noticed that nowadays in the meetings that we, that we have or in the trainings that you participate in, um, colleagues are much more focused on each other's well-being than on the job only. So I think that in, in my particular work setting, in the international work setting, it has definitely brought people closer in that sense. When something bad happens to a community or to a country or to the world, I think people uh, grew stronger together, closer together, because it's, it's something that's been affecting us worldwide. It's not just in the Netherlands or in America or just in some part of the world. It's everywhere. So I think it, it, uh, it brought us all together uh, by the fact it being something universal and we haven't had anything like that in a long time. Case for me, but um, people who I didn't talk to a lot, I already talked to even to less during this pandemic, you know? Yeah, in my case, it will be further apart. I think that at this moment, you are uh, really going to see who your friends are and who isn't, because it does bring people closer um at this moment um but i think you lose way more like those health connections you know that uh hey looking at the bar uh, when you're in the bar and you sp see someone and it's like oh hey how are you uh, you want a beer uh, and like uh, five minutes later he's gone with your beer and you uh, will never see him for the next three months yeah your network did shrink i guess my personal it did but I think the ones that you're still in, uh, in touch with, that, that, that's the one that become, became better.